Hi, Amy again. I want to talk about how you know that you're in alignment with your desire before it manifests. This is a question that comes up a lot in my sessions with people. And they, um, you know, because there's, you know, after the fact, in hindsight, you can look back at something that you wanted that you were manifesting and be like, ah, that's the moment that it unlocked for me. But going forward, it's a little trickier. And I, I just want to say, you might want to make peace with the idea that you might not totally know in advance and you know and that's okay sometimes I know oh you know I've unlocked this and sometimes I have no clue and then the manifestation happens and I'm like oh and I can trace it back but the best example I have is um, there's a a Korean singer that I love he's just the most amazing singer and there's something about his passion for singing and the way he sings that it just resonates with me so I wanted to meet him. I had actually met him briefly a couple of years ago, and I wanted to meet him again and um, connect with him. And I had a, a bunch of ideas of how that could happen. And he lives, you know, in Korea on the other side of the planet. And um, I had a bunch of ideas how that could happen, and all my hows kept me sort of a little bit on edge. And so it turns out that in the middle of my manifesting this, it took about three months, I think, in the middle of manifesting this, he announced he was going to be doing a show in the U.S. And um, and I was like, oh, I'll just go to the show. It was in New York. So I went to the show, and I was really frustrated right before I went because I'm, like, so stuck on the idea. Like, I had to, this had to be it. This, this has to be the way. And I had to accept that that's what I thought and let go of that. And um, the truth is, I knew, one of my friends asked me, this is really funny, he said, what would it take for you to meet this guy? And I said, a miracle. It would take a miracle at this point. And, because uh, all my house had not panned out. And so, I'm, about a week or two, it's probably actually about a week before I left on the trip, I realized, you know, this isn't going to happen. It, it's very likely this isn't going to happen. This can't be the reason I'm going. I have to go for a different reason. I have to go because I want to go. And I did. I do. I love hearing him sing. And I, I don't know where the thought came from. It just sort of floated into my head. And it was like, you know what? I believe in miracles. I believe in miracles. And I don't need a miracle to prove to myself that I believe in miracles. And so that let me drop the idea that I had to figure out how. And I was able to just go and enjoy myself. And there was still, a, you know, I was, I was still wanted to meet him. It just wasn't that, it didn't have that grip on me like it had had before. It was sort of like, okay, you know, I want to meet him. I have no idea how I would meet him. And I didn't worry about the miracle part. And as I was watching him sing in New York, he's 10 feet away from me singing. And I thought, you know what? There's got to be a good reason that I cannot meet him at this point. And I don't know what it is. And it doesn't matter because it's okay. It's just okay. So the next day, I get on a flight to uh, L.A. And he walked onto my flight. And it was so cool the way that it happened because I was one of the last people on the flight and I was sitting right by the door of the airplane and I was chatting with someone next to me. I was in a really good mood and I, you know, I, I it just didn't matter. And all of a sudden he walks in and he's, and I just couldn't fathom that this was how it was happening. And um, I actually spoke to him and connected with him later after we landed. Um, and it, it was exactly what I had been looking for. And it was a miracle because there's no way I could have orchestrated us being on the same flight. So that's the kind of way that you have to find the feeling place. You have to find the belief. You have to find the knowing that you can have this before it happens. And, and I had worked three months on, on working on my beliefs with this specific topic. And eventually, because I worked on those beliefs, the thought came to me. I believe in miracles, and I don't need a miracle to prove to myself that I believe in miracles, that they can happen for me. And that thought is the one that unlocked it for me. So keep working on your beliefs, and eventually, as you work through the beliefs that might be limiting you to get what you want, you will have this aha moment. Sometimes the aha moment is very subtle, and that's okay. It's totally okay. That one was subtle for me. 
Um, but you'll know that your desire and you're in alignment with it because you feel relief from needing it. You feel detached. You still want it. You still want it. But I think a lot of people think want, they confuse want with need. And when you need it, there's a huge difference because I went from needing it to wanting it. And the want was soft. It was subtle. It was, it would come in my mind and go out of my mind. It didn't get stuck or trapped in my thoughts. And so you know you're in alignment with what you want when you think about it and it just floats through and you don't have a resistant, a resistant thought, catch it and hold on to it. Now, this is not a guarantee because, again, if you try to force this, oh, I'm going to get into alignment with what I want by, by letting it float through my mind, and blah, 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 you, you have to remember that there has to be an element of uncertainty that you accept because, again, you really won't know until it happens but, and that you're going to get it, but you will know, oof, I'm unlocked from it. I'm detached from it beforehand. So don't look to have certainty, oh, I know it will happen. Look to have more certainty, I know it could happen for me because I don't need it to happen to prove it could happen. That's kind of the idea you're looking for. And if you have resistance to that thought, you have to allow that to be okay. It's okay I have resistance. That will neutralize it and help you out. So anyway... Um, anything can happen and good luck with your manifesting and remember miracles do happen and if you believe in them then go ahead and believe in them without needing proof and you might just have your own miracle pretty soon. Happy manifesting.